بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I came across a video on TikTok and I definitely felt touched and moved by the anger and the respect of a Christian man who refused to sell uh, a Coca-Cola to the vile, despicable, cross-eyed uh, Quran burner in Sweden. And it's in Arabic and what I want to do is basically show you the, the clip and comment on it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's watch it. You have brought the Quran because that you don't want to... Uh... I don't want to send to you. Okay. حبايبي مثل ما جاي تشوفون جيت لاشتري اوكي جيت لاشتري كوكا كولا من هذا المحل الشخص قال انت حرقت قران من بيع لك وانا بدون حمايه شخص اعزل مدني من دون حمايه شخص قال من بيع لك The Quran burner went into a store to buy some coca cola and he was refused. So he put the camera on himself and he said, I've come here to purchase a Coca-Cola and they refused to sell it to me because I burnt the Quran and I've come alone. I've come with no you know, security or nothing like that. And they refused to sell me Coke. Now I'm gonna forward for the video a bit because it starts obviously just waffling on this cross-eyed Quran burner. And then you see a, a Iraqi man come and a Christian man, basically arguing with him and screaming that he's a Christian and he disapproves of his actions, uh, his vile, despicable actions provoking the Muslims in burning the Quran. Let's have a watch. <laughs> مالك علاقة أنت مو محامي مالك علاقة أنا جيت أشتري كوكا كولا وقال لي ما أبيع لك يعني أنت أنت من أهل العالم كلها وحتى أهل البيت تتأذى ما تتأذى مو مشكلتي هاي مشكلتك summarize he was arguing with this Christian man and he was emphasizing that I am a Christian I am a Christian and you know he responded by saying what's he got to do with you what's your connection on, uh, with, with this issue etc and he refused to sign the coke now this shows the beauty of honorable men who understand that divine books whether they agree with the contents of the book or not cannot be disrespected there's a red line and at the end of the day this is provoking it's causing so much you know, tension. This is not the way forward. It's beautiful to see a Christian man step up to this no backbone scumbag who burnt the Quran, I think, twice now. And it's a lesson for him that even those who are not Muslims who have humanity and respect and tolerance won't accept his actions. <laughs> Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Akbar. 